Welcome back, everybody, to the third segment uh, and creating Game Salad games for the Windows Store. For this segment, I'm going to talk about uploading our Game Salad app package to the Windows Store. Now, just as a recap, in the first segment, we created our actual app package from our MacBook Pro uh, Game Salad creator and uh, using the Game Salad web publishing flow to actually create our app package. Then I jumped over into a Windows 8 environment in order to test my application, uh, sign it, uh, so that I could test on either a Windows 8 device or a Surface RT device, and um, so that I could also run the Windows App Cert Kit, which will do some of the automated tests that um, can alert you to some of the things that may cause a, a failure during the review process um, that are very easy to, to solve and fix. This last part, we have moved back to my MacBook Pro, and I will, um, I will upload my AppX upload file and walk through the actual uh, submission process. So here I've I've uh, gone once again. Go to WindowsStore.com, and if I click on this is the Dev Center, I'm already signed in, so it's already there. If I go to my dashboard we'll see my cannon fodder app that I have started. So let's go ahead and edit. We're, uh, we're gonna edit release one. And we already reserved our app name. We had to do this to in, the, in order to even uh, generate the app package so that those things will match. So now I'm just gonna continue and walk through this process. You see that each, um, it walks you through the process step by step and will only allow us to upload the app package once we have uh, certain information kind of, un, um, kind of filled in. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into selling details. Um, I'm gonna sell my game for $1.49, and I will choose to allow players to have a time-based trial of one day. Uh, this requires no change to my code whatsoever. It will. This is all handled by the Windows Store licensing process. Um, this will allow someone to actually click on try before they were to buy the app, and then after one day, their their trial license will expire, and if they wanted to play the game, they would have to uh, actually go ahead and. Um, and complete the purchase process. I'm going to release it in the United States. Um, you can see here all the markets I can release in with um, with uh, local pricing, as well as there's the rest of the world, which is is includes anything not in in this particular or in this specific list. Um, but for this game, I'll just release it in the United States. I'll choose to release my app as soon as it passes certification. If I wanted to, I could release a, I could set an embargo date so that, it, regardless of whenever it passed certification, if I didn't want it to release until you know a certain day, I could. Choose. So I made a game, so I'll go ahead and select games as my category, and then for my subcategory, I will choose an arcade game. Uh, I think that that cl most closely maps to my style of gameplay. Click save. Now I see my selling details is complete. Now I can choose advanced features. And although my application doesn't use any advanced features right now, such as in-app purchasing or push notifications or connection to the, the live connect services, I still need to go through this process to click save. Um, if I did want to take advantage of something like in-app purchasing, that's where I would set that up. Now for a, now I need to go through and do the age rating and rating certificates. Um, I'm going to choose 12 and up since I have kind of uh, cannons and firing things and loud noises and things like that. Um, I could choose uh, any one of these. One thing to note with games is that some regions and some countries require a certificate, rating certificate files to be uploaded with the game. Um, I'll leave that as an exercise to the listener to understand those, those sort of regulations and whether or not you need to... Um, you need to comply with those but if you if you did in order to submit a game to for instance korea which is obviously a massive uh, gaming market here's where you could upload the certificate file here click save here and it is illegal to import cryptography in some regions of the world so uh, you need to certify whether or not your application requires um, or re whether it, it contains Cryptography or encryption. Um, mine does not, so I can confirm that we are all good here. And then awesome. So now we're done with that part of, of our app submission process. So I can click uh, App Packages, and this is where I'll actually upload my AppX upload file. So this is the the generated file we got back from Game Salad. 
So whenever I was over on my Windows device off camera, I actually added my um, my generated app to my Dropbox folder. So rather than download it again from Game Salad, I'm just going to go to my Dropbox folder. But I could go directly back to Game Salad and or the the file that I downloaded and grab it from there. But I'm going to take this AppX upload and I'm going to just drag and drop into here. It will upload the file, analyze it, uh, make sure it's not corrupt. Okay, we see that this has been successful. I'll click save here. And now we go down into to the description process. And this is the, this is the stuff that will actually appear on, um, on the screen for my game. So let's see. I'm not going to make you guys watch me type all this stuff, but I would recommend that you make your description very descriptive, be, be ver uh, verbose here, and um, make sure that it describes the gameplay. You can also add uh, various app features if, if you want to call out specific uh, things in, in sort of a bulleted list. And then you. And you'll see I need at least one screenshot. And uh, one thing I did not show in my previous video was like I can take that screenshot from from my Windows um, from my Windows 8 environment by pressing the Windows key plus print screen. Uh, I can also use Visual Studio to to take a screenshot by firing up the simulator. The screenshot needs to be at least 1366 by 768 and can no, can be no longer than uh, two megabytes in size. But I'll go ahead and add image here. Actually, I'll just drag and drop. And this will upload that image, and now I can add my screenshot uh, description. Okay, so I have at least the one screenshot. And now this is not an update, but were, were this an update in our increment, in, I could uh, include description of what I've fixed. I can also do include description of recommended hardware. Uh, these are not required. And then I can include keywords. Now these keywords do not appear, but let's say if I wanted my app to always a show for Canon. If I wanted my app to show up if anyone searched for Game Salad within uh, within the Windows Store. Here I can uh, do copyright and trademark info. I usually copy here so I can get my little copyright symbol. And let's change it to 2013. I enjoy. If I needed to do additional licenses, I could, uh, but I do not need to. If I wanted um, our the Windows Store editors to be able to use my app within an editorial or, or within some sort of uh, focus um, uh, page on, on in the Windows Store, I could add, add promotional images here. Um, I don't have any of those created right now, so I won't. Here is where I can input my support contact info. I would definitely recommend uh, putting the same info you put from um, from the game style publishing process. And if you look, I put in. Uh, ryanjoy.com for my support info. And for my privacy policy, I put in Win8 private, my, my, my kind of boilerplate privacy policy here. Now, if, you're, if your application accesses the internet, it has to have a privacy policy. Um, it's good to have one no matter what, but if it accesses the internet, then that is required. Go ahead and click save. Okay, we've got our description up to, uh, all uploaded and, and created. And the last step is a note to tester. Now this doesn't appear to the users, this, this does not appear in the store, but this may be uh, a good place to provide the user or the tester with any sort of login information or uh, potentially give them a path to walk through the game in order to properly test it. So my game is pretty self-explanatory. Um, I, I don't really need to explain how to solve the game. It, it I, I hope I don't at least. So cool. And now we are all good. And so what I can do now is I can. 
uh, review anything if I needed to, or I can submit for certification. And that's it. And now it is uh, being certified. Uh, you can see now we've got the pre-processing and it gives a, a time for how long these things usually happen. And once this is all done, you'll get an email that says uh, your app is in the store. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. And uh, please find me in the Game Salad forums at ATX Ryan or on Twitter at the same.